Hi, Murray here. I just want to tell you about our latest project here at Practical Aquaponics. We're building a heater, and this is a wood-fired heater to heat the water for our fish. Now, we run Jade Perch, as you probably know. That's our favourite fish. And it requires the water to never go below 15 degrees C. Because if it does, the fish can get sick. And we've been running heating now for the fish for well, several years now, but the last three years we've been using a wood-fired furnace that we made out of an old 44-gallon drum, a 50-gallon drum with a copper coil inside, and that's worked fairly well. But the only trouble is with that is that it's burnt out now, it's getting a bit old, and secondly, we use an awful lot of wood in firing it because we have this enormous fire going in the middle. Most of the heat goes out of the chimney and we lose a lot of heat. So we've come up with this new idea. Jamie's come up with a few good ideas. What we've got here is a 44 gallon drum or 50 gallon drum for an American. We've got the insides out of an old hot water system, you know, which is nice thick metal. And we've welded that inside. And the idea is that the whole thing, the firebox, this will be the firebox, will be surrounded by water. All the way around will be surrounded by water. This is the chimney. For the, uh, for the fire. We're going to fire it up shortly. Jamie's making some legs for it right now, some welding up some legs. We'll get it up off the ground and we'll fire it up. And then we're going to do a few other amendments to it. We're going to put a jacket around this chimney so we can catch even more heat. And the idea being that when we get a fire going in here, we have to make a grate for it. Of course, you're shutting a door on it, a few things to go. And we'll update you on those as we go around. But the idea is that the fire will be burning in this firebox and the entire wall of the firebox is surrounded by water. So we should be much, much more efficient, we're hoping, for heating our fish. Anyway, that's episode one, and we'll keep you updated.